Uh, Martin Compson, hello. How are you doing? All right. I'm really well. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. So representing the uh, Line of GC family, you're all out and about today. Yeah, we're good. Uh, I mean, uh, it's, it's nice that thing we're all working to all get together, you know. Well, so, I mean, win, lose or draw, it means I get to see him when we're going to have a night out after. So that's always a good thing. I mean, how much of a family environment did uh, ha has this show become for you? You know what? It's... It's genuinely been the time of my life. I mean, I, I, I don't want to sound like cliched, but they became, Vicky and Adrian especially, they became like my best friends, you know, and I, and it needs, it's quite an intense job, but I can't wait to get back to Belfast in September and start Series 5, and hopefully I'll survive it. You never know. Well, you know, well nothing, yeah, I was going to say you do never know, because you can't really give away anything away, can you? Because we're trying to all stay employed out here. Yes, exactly, yeah, but you know, it's the one thing with, I mean, uh, the whole show, Jed Mercurio is, is an absolute genius, and I mean, he writes the whole thing himself, and uh, you've just got to trust him. And if he and if he had to, I'd be gutted to go. But if he decided it was the the right time to go, then you've got to trust him. Um, is it still a case with uh, with the actors on the on set? And I guess with a lot of actors, that uh, you only get your sides when it comes to the no, scenes, or are you aware of all the we plot? We kind of we're kind of ahead of the game a little bit, but um, I mean, I didn't know in CDC that Vicky McClure was going to be hanging off a truck with an AK-47. <laughs> that was something I never anticipated. But yeah, he kind of he, he's really good because I mean, we've been doing the job that long now that so we know the characters more than anybody so he, he's great that he can let it go and if we if we think something should go a certain way he, he lets it have a bit you know and we spoke to Tandy earlier and she was just kind of raving Tandy. and just lo lovely wonderful woman she's just so in, so full of enthusiasm for British Tandy's, drama Tandy's like a hard Mary Poppins <laughs> You know what I mean? She is. She's like a street Mary Poppins. Yeah, she's the sweetest thing, but you would not mess with her. <laughs> you wouldn't mess with her. But she's an absolute darling, and uh, and I mean, hence why she's Ross. That's it. And, and she's got. She, and it's great that the show can attract that caliber of actor, you know. And um, I and hopefully it started with Lenny James, with Kaylee Hawes, Danny Mays, and I mean we've been really, really blessed with the actors who have came in because it makes us raise our game, you know. We actually were saying, you know, just what an exciting time it is for British drama and, and just for TV, almost more so than movies. Like, would you agree with that? Yeah, well, I mean, I think uh, the last couple of years, um, I, don't, I don't know what's the right of striking money. There's the, the, the level of TV writing has got so incredible. And, um, you know, the Americans have got really good at it as well. But we, we seem to be fighting back and holding our own. You know, there's some great shows going out there at the minute. But, and, um, I really enjoy it, but I say we have these breaks in between, so it doesn't feel like you're on a repetitive show. Like well, we've got 18 months in between, so I, I mean, as, as long as it goes, I mean, I'll always be a fan of it, even if I'm not in the thing. I like that. I think it's always good to be a fan of where you actually work, you know? Yeah, well, you know, like, uh, well, I'm not wearing one. T that's the one thing shows kill me because uh, I love a waistcoat. So every every new series, they give me a new waistcoat, which <laughs> kind of, which keeps me coming back. But waistcoat free tonight. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know what this is called. It's called a cummerband, it's I cummerband, believe. Or a cummerbatch. No, yeah, no, an, an actual cummerband, not to be confused with the popular British actor. So, uh, yeah, so I'm feeling quite dapper and... Um, and that's a good thing about these things as well. I know, I know it kind of it might sound a bit like, uh, I, you know, but even though we're all actors and stuff, we're all pals. A lot of mm -hmm. people. So it's, there's a lot of people I haven't seen in a long time here tonight who you know you're going to bump into. That's that's the great thing for these occasions. I mean, I hope I'd love it if Eddie Dunbar love. I would I wouldn't hear the end of it on set <laughs> if he won. And Vicky's already got one, and Tandy's already got one. Okay. So I wouldn't hear the end of it, but I'd love it if Eddie won. But it's just, it really is sort of like a works night out. You know what I mean? You get to see people you haven't seen in years, so it's it's, it's really good fun. Love that. Well, Martin, you enjoy the office Christmas Pleasure party of the year. And you look amazing. <laughs> Thank you very much. Take care.